Hey, what's up guys? So well, I went and saw Sonic 2 and I had some high hopes for this movie, but ultimately it was a bit of a letdown, but still a pretty good movie overall, especially for kids. But before I get into it, I just want to say thanks for listening. And if you could sub, like, or dislike and comment, that'd be awesome. And I'll try to keep it, you know, a spoiler light. So this follows up several months after the first movie and Sonic becoming restless, tried be being a superhero part-time with little success. Meanwhile, Dr. Robotnik manages to send a signal from the Mushroom Planet Planet, which attracts the attention of Knuckles, the last warrior of Echidna, who is looking for the Master Emerald that would restore his tribe and, and also grants the user whatever they want. And this forms the alliance with Robotnik to take Sonic down. When Tails, a huge fan of Sonic, learns of this, he rushes over to Earth to warn Sonic and to join forces with him. And this leads into a chase to see who can find the Master Emerald first. So before I get into any negative criticism, I just want to say this is one of the few studios that actually listened to the fans and made positive changes and have by far the best video game movie adaptation we have to date. Now with that said, man, the Tom and Maddie characters this time around were really bad. It was good to get them out of the movie at, at a wedding for a sister, but the movie kept cutting back to them way too much and there wasn't much going on there. Just Tom basically getting emasculated either by the groom or his sister. I guess this was supposed to be funny in 1992, but for me, it's just not. This doesn't fun... I don't find a masculine man for comedy really funny and her sister being the size of Lizzo I don't know how she's making fun of anybody and it turned out later the whole thing was a plot for the government to capture Sonic but he only got there by random chance so what was the plan to stop if he didn't show up um Mary Jabba the Hutt and her husband who is a fed actually falls in love with her <laughs> and after she finds out the whole thing is fake that's when I about lost it it's like okay dude you wouldn't fall in love with the cookie monster like come on dude so basically all the human characters are awful besides Robotnik and I didn't even get into Wade who dialed up the downs up to 12 and it was really painful when he's on when he has any lines so the Sonic characters are the only ones that re really carried the movie Sonic being carefree confident and funny well, his humor was a lot more geared towards kids this time. Tails was smart but shy and less confident, and the less confident one. But it was a good pair for the two, as Sonic brought uh, Tails out of his shell, and he got Sonic to think more. Uh, Knuckles was a strong and stoic-driven character, and was a good obstacle for Sonic, as he couldn't overpower him as or they both couldn't really overpower each other and in the two encounters they were pretty evenly matched. Jim nailed Robotnik again and with all the wackiness that only he could bring I honestly couldn't see anyone else playing him. Now besides the whole subplot thing with Tom and Mandy uh, that I couldn't stand the only other issue was the humor this time around seemed a bit more geared for two-year-olds compared to the first one. I know it's a, a kids movie but they aren't really that dumb and you know there's a lot of parents that have to go see it too so would, it would have been nice to see a bit more scaled out comedy not this on the floor stuff. I'm really surprised they didn't throw any poop or fart jokes in. Overall though, it's not a, a bad movie, but it's a safe sequel. Retreading on, on a lot of the same points, but kids will certainly enjoy it. And it's an alright movie for adults to shop their brain to. And more importantly, if you're a Sonic fan, it doesn't do anything to subvert any of the Sonic characters. And they remain with a good live action portrayal, with the next movie bringing a fan favorite to the series, and I predict it will be at least another decent sequel that fans will enjoy. Anyways, thanks for listening, and if you can do all the liking, commenting, all the things below, that'd be, that would be great. Uh, thanks.